What's up followers? This is not a sponsored video but this stuff is really nice. It's um energy coffee latte and it's a quid for 250ml and it's like a creamy coffee but with a bit of energy drink in it. It's got me on a level so obviously if you're a kid don't try it but if you're an adult and you need a bit of a boost it's a nice flavour. Anyway, this post is about racism and how appalled I am that there's so much racism going on in the UK. You know, how stupid racism is and how sad racism is. And also how sick I am of being told that because I'm white, I shouldn't be campaigning to stop racism. That's racist in itself. Now, I'll start by saying this has all started, you know, in the England squad for missing a couple of penalties, the, they were racially abused the the members you know the the squad members and I found that just shocking um it wasn't I didn't find it surprising because I know how racist the UK can be but you know I still I, I stood up against it and did a lot of post sharing against that then a couple of days later there was an incident down my street there was an 11 12 year old little black boy and he was being racially abused by four Asian boys he was being called black bastard and stuff like that. So I video recorded it and I sent it to the police and they're investigating it. I've had a lot of people message me saying that I shouldn't be doing all that because I'm a white woman and I'm privileged and all that. I think if you're coming out with stuff like that, you need to look at yourself. Like why can a white person campaign to stop racism? You're, you saying that in itself is racist. You know, don't make sense. Now, for the people that know me well, they'll know that I am not in the slightest bit bothered about what colour you are, what religion you are. I don't care whether you worship the Torah or Dora the Explorer, you know, or Allah. I don't care. If you talk about Jesus, that's cool. I am easy to get along with, like... I look at humanity, I look at human beings as human beings. I don't look at people as, right, that's a black person, or that's a Chinese person, that's an Asian. I don't care. Like, seriously, I don't care. I was brought, always brought up to treat people the same, unless they treat you wrong. But don't ever judge someone because of the colour of the skin. And that's the way I am and always will be. And I do say it a lot that I don't see colour. Because I don't. And I don't mean that in any other way apart from I don't see why we should label people. I don't see why we should treat people as different. I don't mean it in an offensive way. Like some black people said, oh, well, you should see colour. And I said, well, why? That in itself is causing a divide. You're just the same as me. We've all got lips, we've all got a nose, we've all got eyes, we've all got hands, we've all got a heart. We all bleed red. We're all human. Just because I'm white skinned doesn't mean that I can't campaign against to stop racism. Because it's something that's dear to me. You know, I've had ex-girlfriends that have been racially abused right in front of me and I've had to stand up against that. It's sick. You know, it's and I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, and recently I had one of my black friends fall out with me because I said I don't understand racism. I don't get why people are so cruel. And she said, well, you know, you should understand it. And I said, well, why? I don't. I don't understand why people are so cruel. It's like me saying, it's like, you know, trying to make me understand, you know, what it's like to be a bully. I don't know what it feels like to do that because I've never done that. Like, I've never deliberately upset people for fun. Like, I, you know. Yeah, I've said some hurtful things, but I'm not a bully. And it's the same as I don't have that mindset. I'm never going to deliberately target somebody for having a different colour skin to me. Because that's ridiculous. It's... There's more important things to, to think about than that. And it's... I think it's utterly, utterly sad that still in this, still in the 21st century, people are being shot 
and you know persecuted for being different colour skin. And I don't get it because we came from black skin. You know, this isn't the original skin colour. We came from black. Humanity started from black dark skin. You know, we evolved from monkeys, Neanderthals, etc, etc. And they weren't this colour, they were black skin, dark skin. So when people talk about white supremacy and everything and white comes first and all that, they can, they can shut up. They don't know anything about history. They've not studied genetics. They've not studied, you know, archaeology, you know, and history and anthropology. I have. And black came first. So it's something that should be celebrated. You know, there's nothing wrong with being black. So if you are black, good. So what? Like, literally, so what? You know, and I'm sorry that you've been persecuted. And I'm sorry that it's hard for you and difficult, such as in, in the USA, you know, to just walk down the street without having the police shoot you. You know, I'm sorry that it's harder for a black person to get a job, you know, in the USA. And it's, I'm sorry that black people in the USA are more likely to get a long sentence at court. It's fucked up. It shouldn't be happening. But it is. And, yeah, I'm white. But so what? And I care. And I'm a, I'm a caring person. You know, I'm a caring white woman. You know? And, like, I've, I've been persecuted and judged because I'm, I like women. You know, I've been beaten up because I like the same gender, you know? And I know I can relate in that sense that I know what it feels like to be hated because I'm a little bit different, but I don't get it. There's, there's so many races hating each other. You know, like, some religions don't like other religions and some skin colours don't like other... Oh, it's just stupid. It is stupid. And, I mean, this is a warning. If you have... Oh, God. If you have got... If you have got any of those views, you don't have any place on my Instagram. If you're, if you're a racist or a homophobe or you've got really extreme right wing views of a moose off this page, because you'll be outed and you'll be screenshotted. And, you know, that, that ain't a threat, that's a fact. You know, I don't like racist, bye-bye. You know, I don't care. I think it's something to be celebrated. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's different colour flowers and plants and trees and people go to zoos and museums to see all the different colour art and different colour things, but people still kill each other over different colour skin tone. Get real. What a load of shit. What rubbish. Stop being absolute bastards and be nice to people, please. You know, that's, that's, that's what I say to it. I think it's nonsense. Honestly, I do. It's heartbreaking. Because if it was up to me, everyone would just be treated the same. And that's... It's not the world we're living, is it? And it's upsetting, even though I'm a white person. Because, like I said, I've got a lot of black friends who still get ra racism to this day. And don't get it. I don't get it. Why? I don't get it. I really don't get it. But anyway, thank you for listening, and um, yeah, I'm going to go and carry on doing what I'm doing. Thank you for listening, and goodbye for now. Adios.